Hello, good Wednesday afternoon. I hope you're all having a great day today. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the content. If you haven't already, go ahead and click on that wonderful like and wonderful subscribe button as well. And hit that, and hit that notification bell to get notified of all that I post. Today's conversation is, do not fret or fear. I know with everything going on in the world right now, whether it's the war with Russia and Ukraine or what's going on even here in our own backyard we call America, whether it's rising inflation, gas prices, grocery, the, the stores at the the prices at the grocery store skyrocketing, cost of cars sky, skyrocketing, skyrocketing. It's easy to fret and fear, right? I mean, wouldn't you all agree? Absolutely. I mean, wouldn't you agree? But you know what? There's no need to fret or fear. Or, or even worry, for that matter. What Fretting and fearing, it just adds to your otherwise stressful life. If you let these things get to you. Do you ever fret over something like, oh, what, 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 what if I don't get this job? What if I don't, what if, what if he turns me down, down? What if she turns me down? What if, what if, what if this, what if that? And then that fretting turns into fear. Like, what if they really find out? What if they find out who I really am? What if they really know what I'm like? Then, if that's the case, then where is your faith? Say, tra say, Travis, have you ever fretted or feared over certain things? A few things I have, but I didn't let it get to me. Did you know that ninety-nine percent of the stuff that we people fret and worry and fear over, it doesn't happen. We put that in our own mind. You put that in your mind. You see something on TV, or you read something on the news, or you, or you, or you, you actually hear it on the news, and all of a sudden your automatically your automatic gut reaction is to fret and start fuming and start having these panic attacks in your mind. And then and sometimes even physical panic attacks. There's no need to worry or fret or fear. Why? Because this too shall pass. This too shall pass. Now, yes, the last two years all over the world, it's been a year of uncertainty, hasn't it? What's going to do this? What's the virus going to do here? What's going to do here? Are we going to need this vaccine? Are we going to need this? Are we, going to, are we going to need that? Do I fret and fume and fear and, and worry over this vaccine? Over this pandemic? No. Because I still had my job. Was I worried about a few things? Maybe. But I didn't let it get to me. I just focused on what I was doing. And now look at the, look at the world. How some countries and places here in America are starting just to reopen again, or or basically easing their their whole restrictions on things. It's not good to fret or fear or worry, because that'll put a that does have a effect on your body physically, medically. Yes. It does. If you don't believe me, just research it. I hope these videos calm you down. Some people like the sound of my voice because it's very soothing and calming. So whatever you're going through today, whether it's fretting about the future, fearing about what's to come, just remember who's in control. Almighty God is, is in perfect control. And he has all of this 
in the palm of his hands. It's not a surprise to him. He knows what he's doing. So, so, so let me just encourage you, closing this out, to take some deep breaths and just relax. You take some deep breaths and relax, it'll be okay. You guys, have a great day. God bless. Remember, you're loved by God and life is short. Make it count. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you.